So for this panel, we have um, representing the Advertising Agencies Association of Nigeria, the President, Mr. Kayode Uwashon. Thank you, sir. We also have um, Mr. Steve Babayoko, he's the CEO of Extreme Ideas. We have Mr. Lanry Abisa, the MD of Noah's Ark. Um, we also have um, representing uh, Advan, this is Bukola Oluyadi, the head brand management, head of brand management, first brand PLC. And we also have Mr. Victor Jola Ushu, the marketing, communication, and research and Janaija Rights Limited. A round of applause for We have our one and only distinguished and lovely <laughs> Vice President of Advan, Mrs. Bibo Alami. We talk of communications, we talk of BTL activations, we talk of outdoor, the host of things that we do to support a brand, right from the time it's born, it's birthed, to the time it becomes a big brand and continues to transcend generations. And maybe today, when you're in recession, are we really getting the best in terms of business relations? What are the bottlenecks we have in terms of business relations? Sometimes you say there's a conflict of interest. Maybe the agency is not doing what is good for my brand. Sometimes the agency will bring everything that may not necessarily be needed by my brand. Does my agency understand where the situation or the situation of my brand, what's happening to my brand now, what I need to get the brand to the next level? Does agency really have my back? Is agency really my partner? Are we true partners? So I'd like Steve to start with us. Can you respond to me? Thank you very much, uh, It's a great pleasure to be here. Good afternoon, uh, just to quickly jump into it, uh, most of the points you raised now, they are like primordial topics that we've discussed over and over several uh, discussion points. And I don't see that it's going to change. I think this discussion will always continue to crop up. But what is good to mention is that we are all going into uncharted territory as far as marketing is concerned. The landscape has changed. You saw that. Uh, the president's uh, advance uh, presentation. So we are all in new territories. This is the time when we all should hold each other's hands. Because if you look at the conflict, the, the, the term and jury relationship that traditionally exists between uh, clients and agencies sometimes, you find out it's more like dissipating energy. Because the enemy is not within, it's actually without. You know, <laughs> for, for every category you work on, you have competition, and you have to let help your client to win. But one thing that I can say though, regardless of how you slice and dice this topic, is that if you look at the marketplace today, the clients that are doing some of the most interesting work, you can actually use the work that comes out as a barometer to judge the relationship between the client and the agency. And that is going to continue to the future because as tech continues to disrupt every aspect of our lives, including marketing communication, co-creation is going to be the next competition. So I think that's my point. Thank you very much. Please, I'd like you to add your voice to us. Thank you very much. Um, again, I think it's a big pleasure for me being here today. It's actually like homecoming, really, for those who understand what I'm talking about. Um, that said, I think the issue being raised there, just as Steve has said, client against relationship, and then again, the rewards which you're expecting me because of AI. From AAAN and speaking for advertising practitioners, 
I can only latch on to what Steve has said, but I'll push it a bit further. I think we need to understand that advertising is in the interest of all of us. And we appreciate that there's a drive out. I'm not creating it, it's been there, it's traditional. We talk about the clients, we talk about advertising practitioners, the agency, and then we talk about the media. This tripod can only succeed if and when they work together. Just yesterday we had um, what we called the round table. Uh, that's a triple A. Not anything elaborate, not anything to invite third parties to. It was just a meeting among ourselves. It may interest you to note that one major uh, fallout of that meeting is the need and the agreement we found in collaboration with all the stakeholders. So to start with, if we are not together, we can possibly cannot possibly get the right materials that we we'll put out there and that will be in the interest of our brand. So what AAA and what we are talking about today, what we are promising is that there will be ample collaboration. We need ample collaboration. As Steve said, he called it for Nigeria. Interestingly, I've been on the client side. I was on the client side about 11, 13 years before I became an ad man. And I'm loving it. Truth of it is that what is today is not what was then. I can say David is there, we're in the same class, my internship in Liverpool. Truth of it is that it has changed. What took me to advertising is not what we have today. We don't have it anymore. Talk technical, talk human relations, talk respect for each other. It is not the same anymore. Knowledge is low. Everything has gone down. So what we are asking for, or not asking for, what we are pushing now is that we need to come back. And in the spirit of our coming at the center, David and myself and, uh, you know, the last time born, all of us, we have resolved to come together and save the situation. Again, because somebody has said I should also talk about what we should expect. I think it shouldn't jolt anybody if I say that indeed we will get what we ask for. Which is to say it is what we make it that we are going to get. Steve made it very clear. When you look at the quality of works coming out and you appreciate and you love them, look into the kind of relationship between the agency and the client. If it is cordial, if it is progressive, co-creation. There is no shame in the fact that it's our collective idea. That is the trend, and that is where we should go. Thank you. I want to say something. I, before I could call Larry, I know that a few of your agencies have won awards for beautiful creative work. But actually, the fact of the matter staring at us in the face for manufacturers today is how to survive, how to keep our brands alive. And yes, we can like the creative, you know, designs and the things, but the thing is, will it make the tool ring? That's very critical for us. So even as we are happy that we have those beautiful things, but will they make the tool ring? What's the return on investment? Even when we invest in that, going forward. Thank you very much. And um, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, yeah, I mean, nice entertainment, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> um, I mean, that's a very interesting question, and I think if there was any other time when that's so jamming, it's now. Because every cover matters. And um, I mean, I'm a firm believer and a great lover of advertising, and I can't think of anything else to do. Because I know it works, really. If you really dedicate yourself to it, if you do all that is necessary, it really, really works. And um, there are two recent campaigns I've been involved in. And it's a good thing that Steve alluded to the fact that if you see the works coming out today that excite us, it's actually a reflection of the relationship between the client and the agency. And if I take one client of mine, the um, interesting thing is that we've been on that business for about two years, and in the course of the two years, the first half of the two years, it was the most frustrating thing ever. Nobody in the agency would love to work on that business. We just kept hanging in there. A little change, a little trick on the part of the client, and um, suddenly there's magic. Because why did we have magic? Because on the part of the client, they were willing to see us as partners. They were willing to see that look, if you guys fail, we fail. You know, if we succeed, we succeed. And in the course of that, back to co-creation, we saw ourselves this same brand that didn't really excite us that much to give our all. You know, we were also 
15 to 3 a.m. with the client, by the way. And seriously, and I experienced that. It's not a case of, oh, you're the MD go home. No. Well, we're staying back and doing stuff together, and we're all try, trying to you know, really turn things around. And then the result at the end of the day is exciting. In that category where the industry, the category, you know, is recording shrinking numbers, that brand was gaining numbers as a result of all those efforts and the fact that working together we can make a big difference. That is one thing I think, you know, we really carry the day at a time like this. And I think if we can hone that skill, it's something that will, you know, really be of benefit to us post recession. Another one is that we see when you, it is in the interest of both parties, I would not say the client or agency, to actually encourage and generate brand law, you know, as much as possible. So I start thinking about the brand, even when you're not there. Now, what does that lead to? Procreation. We have a particular type of ads that we just, you know, um, started a campaign. It's a tactical campaign, by the way. They never had anything budgeted for that campaign. But they had a property that was very small. It got one part of it, and they're talking three cars, by the way. And we looked at that property, and we looked at what we could do with it. And we created this campaign. This is you know, two, uh, two, two commercials. And we shot demos, by the way. So we showed the demos to them and their management team. I said, oh, I would love it. Can we even run the demos? They said, no, don't run the demos. We'll shoot the property. And they never had budget for it. This is a time of recession, but they shot it eventually. So these things are possible, but what is important is that on both sides, we see that we actually mean well. We are both interested in moving the brand forward. So it is in the interest of everybody to actually start moving towards, and I think like we mentioned that this is that before, to move from servicing, getting into a question of engagement, and landing as partnership. When we see ourselves as partners, we have full disclosure. We won't hide things from each other. I don't want them to do it. So I struggle, come back to you, and all that. It's a okay. It doesn't work for anybody. So I think if we do that, and I've had a situation where we have so much chemistry with a particular client. The guy said, Well, I've not seen that ad, but if you like it, you can sign up on it and it's wrong. And it's wrong. How many of us can do that today? But that's where we need to be. And I think that's what's going to work for this time and beyond now. Thank you. Okay, I have a few things I also want to add, but before that, I want my colleagues to talk about this. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank Advan again for this um, forum. Um, we need more of this, like, the, like my colleague from Dufila said. The problems between advertisers and advertising agencies are very numerous. Um, most of us, I'm sure, there are lots of things. We cannot emphasize so many of the challenges we have, um, both on the agency side and even the client side. But I would just like to focus on two of them. One of them would be, I would like to say, and I'm sure we all agree that your creative work can be as good as your presentation. If you, if you have something very beautiful, something very nice, and uh, you have issues presenting it to clients, or you don't have the best ways or good approaches to actually present these ideas to your clients, you would have so many issues. You have problems defending your idea, you have problems selling your idea and all that. I've noticed that there's a very big gap, there's a very big problem about um, account management, client service. Lots of agencies focus more on creative, you know, you have these very good ideas, you have good copywriters, finish that work is on point. But then, how, how do you sell these ideas to clients? How do you make them feel that they're getting value for, for what they're, you know, for the money being spent? I don't think there's been any um, serious effort towards actually training our client service or our money insurance people. I'm very excited that the president of NIM has spoken about having people registered and all that. I just like I said, I feel very bad sometimes when you see people out there, you you know nothing about marketing, but then you're in client service. You haven't done any training, you haven't done anything, you are fresh from school and this agency picks you up and and then they push you out there, you say your client service, you go meet the client, then the client asks you, so why, why do you have this idea? It's always a pretty guess. I mean, things like this are very, really, you know, things like this are things that actually water down the big efforts in getting by our crazy audiences. Um, I will just stop there and go to the next one, because I know of course we can. That's all the time. Sorry, there's just one point. There's just one more point. The second point I would like to make, and the question I'd like to ask is, please, um, my guys out there, what exactly are you doing as a succession plan? I've noticed that most agencies, when do you have succession plans, and also 
You're welcome to have another event. Thank you very much. So let's go straight to it. I think uh, to just build on what Victor has said, and then in collaboration with um, some of the points that our partners have put forward. Yes, it's collaboration, but I think we have a big problem for what I call from pitch to implementation and the gap that's in between there. You sit in the pitch sometimes and you're blown away. We usually bring our stakeholders, that means the project owners, into pitches and go and we like what we see and then it's time to start drilling down and breaking down these big projects and then their problems. And we can't even get the correct materials together to start going for approvals and all that. It just starts to fall apart. That is a problem. So I thought in the past that we've gone past the you know the um, the era of hiring you know all sorts to get the pitch done. Let's come with what we have so that we just show up front what is available at the end of the line is my point. To build on the knowledge that is talked about, you've had a lot of people on your accounts. Aside the fact that accounts um, managers change so ever so often, which I don't blame agencies, that's just the scenario we found ourselves in. But you speak to some people and you're just to show this person is not working, and so that relationship is strained. I know some people can be difficult, but again, if you have the right thing, if you only be mad not to make it work. And then I always tell some of my partners, they say, oh, you keep rejecting this work. And I say, let me ask you one question. If you give me something that will blow this market away, do you think I will reject it? It's not possible. You will see something that works in the and you say, don't, deal, sign. And then the others, you're like, no, it's not getting there. Something is just so right. Something is not. So it's, it's just that togetherness. We just need to get the whole work together. And last but not the least, I want to talk about thoroughness and quality assurance or quality control. I don't know how many brands have their CI manuals or whatever is the semblance of that. When the work comes in from the same team that has been working on this, you find all sorts of details and you're like, it's the same agency, even if you change your team, just let them walk through it so that after one change, you don't have to go over it. So my people at the end, they're always so frustrated. Thank you very much. Thank you. If you have questions, then we can take them out of the session. But I wanted to end and say that in this time of recession, what plan and agency we need to look at how we, I have to do two of few things. For example, what's the agency offer? Do you talk of us a whole key of what you have? What matters for this season? What will deliver for that brand? We have to look at that and bring that forward. Do you need to realign your priorities? Some of that will make us need to look at that. And for us, from client side, I know we need to declare on what we want. Because sometimes the client, the agency says, I don't understand what you really want. So we, even as we give you briefs, we need to declare about what we want. We need to be brief about it, and precise about what we want, and also at cost effective levels. And we expect that you will deliver that additional value to us during this recession. Thank you very much for listening, and have a good time. Thank you very much. Thank you. So we're going to 